Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and our week 14 renovation vlog update on our complete start to finish home renovation project. If you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I've got weekly renovation updates. I'm gonna be doing a lot more about organization, especially as I get to move stuff into my kitchen and organizing all the wardrobes and making the best use of the space. So it's a lot of that kind of content as well as shop with me videos, hauls, uh, speed cleaning, all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully you will subscribe and love it. Now let's take a look at what's been going on since our last renovation update. We're starting off in Bella's room. Now not a great deal has happened in here this week, but I'm showing you around anyway, just in case you've missed our previous updates. Bella's really delighted with this room. Obviously her bed is gonna go here, this plastic will come off the floor. But other than that, I think the only thing that's missing now from this room is the chest of drawers, the tall thin one there, which is currently in William's room in the old house. And I think I'm gonna put that there. And also the two by four bit of calyx, which is going on top of there. Now quite exciting. The Ikea order is actually going to be here. It's gonna be delivered tomorrow. So hopefully by next week's update, all the bits I've ordered from the Ikea uh, order will be together and you can see all that stuff in like another Ikea haul video. If we look inside this wardrobe, I mean at the moment it's just stuff, just stuff like for my kitchen and things. But I'm going to have a Calyx unit that is four by two with a two by two on the top. So it's gonna be six boxes high and two boxes wide and all that's gonna be storage. Then the other side of the wardrobe, this is pretty much what we're doing for all the wardrobes. The other side of the wardrobe is just gonna be from the calyx, rail, rail. I guess we can fit three rails in there. So that will be loads and loads and loads of storage in there for Bella. Moving out into the bathroom. Again, not massive changes in here this week, but I will show you anyway. We've got the, yay. So just, this is for people that haven't seen the previous updates, but the bathroom is looking rather nice. We've got the shower. And then round to the toilet. We still need a toilet roll holder and a toilet cleaning brush. And then we've got these uh, two units, we've got one here and one here. Now I need to find some more baskets to sort these out. Um, these are just some old <laughs> cleaning products I sent over to the house that I haven't used in years and years and years because as you know, I now use reusable dusters, I don't use wipes anymore, I certainly haven't bought disposable wipes for years, but they're kind of in there. I've asked my husband to just use them up while the place is a building site. And then in here, I guess we need another high shelf in there, don't we? But then this is stuff that I can store cleaning products in here so the children can't reach them. But when the mood takes me, I can clean the bathroom. So really what I need, I can't remember where I bought these. It's some more baskets like this that are quite narrow because it's not a very deep cupboard. So I need kind of like narrow baskets and I want to keep in there all the kind of toiletries, toothpaste, spare shampoos, all that kind of thing. I want to live in these cupboards, as well as cleaning products, cleaning cloths, all that kind of thing. So in this one here, I want to store all our toothbrushes and things in the top one, um, so we don't have to have them all out and cluttering everything. And in the bottom one, I mean, at the moment I've got cleaning cloths, but the cleaning cloths are better off going up high where the children don't, can't reach them because they don't need to be able to. And in here, I can put things they might need, like toothpaste or, extra shampoos or whatever it might be. Into the airing cupboard. Now, we've now got, we've got CCTV stuff all hooked up and working. These are some of these Ikea shelves. I don't know if I can show you these without disrupting all the, oh, 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 can I show you these? Are they coming out? Are they coming out? Am I racking everything? Oh, oh no. Right, I'll show you from here because I don't want to like pull all these wires. But basically, these are these little IKEA spice rack shelves. We have had them painted the same color as the walls, which is not actually white. It's like the palest gray ever. So I'm not sure where we're going to put those yet, but they're good in the children's rooms for putting books on because you can put the books facing out on them or like Bella's got at the moment, like little figures and things on them, just nice for displaying things. So I've got four of those to put somewhere. So if you've got any ideas as we go around the house where I could put those, do let me know. 
into William's room. Let's flick his light on. We don't really need it in this, do we? But let's have, just flick it on to have a look. He's just brought a bit more Lego over. I think that's all that's changed in here, really. I have got a lot more boxes being delivered with the IKEA order. These Drona boxes are the ones I decided to go for. Um, I will talk about those actually when we get to uh, Zara's room where the rest of the boxes are, but I have got a lot more of those. So this is mostly going to be toy storage, um, just mostly kind of William stuff. I am gonna be practicing a lot more toy rotation um, when we've moved in, so stay tuned for a lot more information on that. But that is how I'm gonna work around not having the playroom that we've currently got. We're gonna have a lot more storage in the children's bedrooms, we're gonna have a lot more storage in the lounge, and we're gonna do toy rotation. So William has brought over some more of his lovely Lego. I have told him that none of the Lego is to live on the actual desk. We need to keep that clear for homework and such things. But really pleased with this desk and he's really chuffed with it too. Um, and look, he's put more Lego in there. But I will be filling this up with like stationary supplies and things. So it's primarily for homework and when he's not doing homework, he can use it for um, the Lego and things. Now in here, we're gonna have a slightly different setup. This, by the way, is the large piece of glass that I bought from Ikea that was accidentally the wrong size. I do need to get it taken back to Ikea, but they wanted 25 pounds to collect it. It was only worth 30 quid. So I need to wait till someone with a really large card going back to Ikea. Anyway, in here, I've got, um, I'm gonna have a two by four along the floor and then a two by four up the side. Cause William doesn't need as much hanging space and he's not as short as the girls. So he will have boxes along there and up there, if you can picture. And then the rails will go from here to across here. Now, the reason for that, like I said, he doesn't need as much hanging space as the girls because he doesn't have all the fluffy tutus or nearly as much dressing up stuff. And then we can store extra things like board games and things that stick out that don't fit in these boxes, but they'll fit in there and they'll kind of, if they kind of stick out and things that look a bit messy, it doesn't really matter. I'm also going to, you've seen my uniform organization videos. Now, William doesn't organize things into little bags like I do with the girls. He just has a hanger that he puts everything onto. Um, and well, he currently has little bags, but what I'm gonna do for him is have a, a slot for each day of the week. So you'll have like a Monday, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and he will fold his clothes and put them in there for his uniform organization. And for the record, these are outside walls. So we're not having any rails touching the outside walls. We're having calyx shelves against the outside walls because, I mean, it's unlikely to get damp, but if there's gonna be any damp, it'll be clothing against outside walls because they are colder. So we are avoiding that by putting the shelving used against the outside walls and the clothes this end. Into our bedroom. Oh, I've got something exciting to show you in here. Look, my new chair arrived. What do we think of this? This I bought from Homebase. I'm really pleased with it. I mean, it is possibly a little bit on the low side. Um, I don't know, what do we think? It's, it, I think it's fine for doing my makeup and things. If I just sit on it and show you. Like, I wouldn't want to work on a computer. See, I'm that, I'm a little bit, a little bit short with it, but I think it's okay for a bedroom. I think it's fine for sitting doing makeup. Like I said, if, I, if that was my desk and I was sitting there working, so I have been working here because my desk isn't ready yet. Um, but if that was like my permanent desk, it would be too low. But when I've been working on that, I've just been nicking the chair from William's room, to be honest. But I think, I don't know, what do you think? It was, I think it was 60 pounds. They also had like a two-seater version of it, which they called the cocktail sofa, which I really liked. And they also did it in blush pink. I so nearly bought the blush pink one because I thought it was gorgeous. But then we've got the silver sparkly wallpaper. We're going for like greys in here. I am adding a touch of this soft pink, as you know, from these bits that I picked up in the range haul. But I think if I stick with the main sort of undertone of greys, I can add splashes of pink or whatever and change that over quite quickly if I get bored. So other than the chair, I think that's the only change in here. Um, and then we need to configure in here what we're going to do. At the moment, we've got a lot of baskets, spare wallpaper and wallpapering stuff. So in here, we're gonna have a one, high, one wide six tall calyx there. We're gonna have another one in the middle here. One high six tall, it's actually a four with a two on the top. Um, 
the fours are coming from the house and the twos are coming being delivered from Ikea. And then against this outside wall, I'm having another four with a two on the top. So that's six high, one wide. So we're having rails, one, two, maybe three there for me. And then my husband's rails will be here, one, two, three. So hopefully that will be done quite soon. I've also ordered another Calyx to go here, which is going to be one wide, six high, which is again a two and a four. Um, so that's just going to be for extra storage. I haven't yet tried these glass shelves to know if they're any good. I need to sort of fit them somewhere. But so far, I mean, these I was planning on putting them inside the wardrobe. If anyone can weigh in on if these are kind of really sturdy shelves or if they're a bit flimsy, they are the glass shelves. They're a two pack. So I do need to try them, but none of the stuff is currently here or assembled that I need to try them on. So I don't know whether to just bung one in because I need to know if I need to buy more or not. And then let's head into Zara's room. Zara's room, I am loving. I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is. It's pretty gorgeous though. It's called Pixie Dust uh, wallpaper. It's the same. We've got the silver Pixie Dust in our room. Bella and Zara have got the pink. And I do just love it. We did almost have this in the lounge, but then we thought, eh, we're gonna go off pink in our lounge in not that long. I probably wouldn't, my husband might. So I think we're having a wall of silver. I'll talk about that when we get down here. So we're still going for the pink, then the white, then the pink, because they don't make the pink anymore. So I couldn't just buy an extra pink one. Um, so that, I'm hoping it'll look good. I don't know, what do we think? Do we think this kind of sandwiched calyx effect will look good? I hope it will. Still sort of undecided on that. And then boxes wise that I've ordered from Ikea. I did like this pattern, but I have decided, although it might seem a bit more boring, to go for these gray ones. I've ordered quite a lot of these for dotting around the house. And I am, as I said, gonna practice toy rotation. So what I'm gonna do is this unit, for example, is gonna be six boxes high. The ones, the only ones Zara's gonna be able to reach are the ones at the bottom. So I'll rotate the things from the top, take some of those downstairs, and then put the things she has been playing with and put them at the top. And then if I do this on a weekly basis, they're going to feel like they have nicer newer toys and they're also gonna keep their toys more together. It means we'll have a weekly toy sort out rather than having to do a master clutter. Now, I decided against these. I think they look lovely, but they are really snaggy. And I've had so many messages from you guys saying, nah, they're gonna snag your clothes and snag your children's skin. So I have not ordered any more of those. They are 12 pounds. These are three pounds anyway. So those are not a good price. And they, I just, no. They, I, I love the look of them. I don't like them practically. Heading out of Zara's room and down the stairs. I can't remember if these were in last week, but we have got these LED lights lighting up the stairs, which I'm really, really pleased with. And they're gonna be on the Alexa switch. Now, a few of you have expressed concerns about fingerprints on the glass. And as you can see at the moment, there are fingerprints on the glass. And that, how am I gonna keep it clean? Well, the answer is I'm gonna have to let you know on that one. Full disclosure, I have not actually cleaned this glass yet because it's not even finished. This panel is due to arrive very, very soon. I'm hoping because they sent the wrong size panel, but apparently the company have been really good about it. I'm not sure who he's been dealing with. Um, my husband's been dealing with that. But that panel will come very soon. And when, when it's all kind of done and finished, I think they're gonna do some silicon or something because it's a bit rattly at the moment. Um, so as soon as that's done, I will give it a good clean. But while it's still sort of building sighty, there doesn't seem to be much point into the downstairs loo. I think other than needing a good clean, this is pretty much finished. I do love that these lights just come on when you walk in, there's no switch, because it also means they'll go off when the children leave the room. Really, with hindsight, we should have done this with every room because the children are a nightmare at turning off lights. So other than this needing a damn good clean, it is looking really good in here. But again, till all the kind of sanding and stuff's done, there's no point in giving it a really, really thorough clean. This one is like a switchy on off one, just like that, just like upstairs. Um, the hall is painted and looking amazing, other than this wall, which is proving to be tricky. This wall was painted and it flaked off and then my husband picked it like a scab and it's sort of gone like that now. So that's gonna need some sort of priming or something. But if we ignore this bit and just look here, it looks sensational. 
And then under here, we are gonna have coat storage. We're gonna have, I'm thinking a high rail for the adults and a low rail for the little ones. They can actually reach their own coats because problem at the moment, they can't reach their own coats. So they just hang them on the floor, which let's face it, that's not very helpful. And then under here, when all the painty stuff's gone, I think we're gonna have shoe storage all under here. I haven't fully figured out how we're going to do the storage under there and it's somehow going to be enclosed, I think. I don't know. If anyone has any suggestions for excellent shoe storage, especially that goes under the stairs, please do let me know in the comments. Now heading into Dylan's room, which last week was still a little bit of a building site, it is now looking pretty clear. See, this is the chair that I bought for upstairs. So um, if anyone's looking for one, that's what it is. This is the piece of glass that needs to go back to the piece of glass stair people. But you will also notice this big plinth that has gone across the top of the room. That is because this is going to be sliding wardrobes all across here. So that is being, this room's being primed at the moment, I believe, for painting, which means like filler and stuff is happening. And then this is gonna have several coats. But the priming's done, the frame is done for the sliding wardrobes, the skirting boards are done, and the floor is done. So this is actually, it's this in the office that are kind of the next rooms for decorating. I believe all the doors have been treated now, so they're all kind of finished and looking really lovely. These are all oak doors. So um, we've got these in our existing house, and once they've been treated, they need barely any touching up or anything at all, really, just so they're quite low maintenance as opposed to painted doors. Um, I have ordered a rug, because this is not a rug, this is like a spare piece of carpet, and we're just using to kind of wipe feet on at the moment. But I did like the look of it, I like the effect. So I've ordered a long thing rug from Ikea. In fact, I've ordered several that I have to stick together. So we'll see how they work uh, when they arrive because hopefully they will stick together nicely and not move all over the place. Into my office, which has had some painting done. Look how fantastic it looks. Now there's still, it's had one coat of paint. So you can see it still looks a bit patchy in places but it's had lots of boxing in of pipes and things done. So all that was just sort of sticky outy, messy pipes and things. I'm really trying not to step on paint and things. So this still needs another two coats apparently. But the plan for here is my desk that I have in my existing office that's gonna go here. Maybe some sort of unit thing there. I haven't decided yet, I have to see when it comes in. I'm going to stick the purple sofa that's in our existing playroom there for now and then maybe look at getting a different sofa at a later date, but for now that'll go there. And maybe one of those little Ikea tables that we've got at home, and it's like the one we've got in Zara's room upstairs, and just pop that there for the children to play on. Then my massive five by five Calyx is arriving tomorrow, so when this room is finished painted, that can be assembled. And then this is the frame for my laundry-tastic area. So the washing machine and the tumble dryer are going here on this little built up box thingy. And then in here is gonna be my Calyx storage for taking stuff out of the tumble dryer and putting it into whoever person it belongs to into their box. And then over here next to the radiator, we're gonna have hanging rails to hang up, clothes to dry on hangers. Into the lounge, which is looking a lot clearer. As you can see, it's starting to really take shape. We've still got these sort of camp chairs to sit on, um, but a lot of this stuff has been cleared out now. Obviously we need to choose a light fitting, things like that. The TV's gonna be going over there. I have ordered from Ikea two one by four Calyx units that are just gonna go all the way along there to form like an under the TV unit, and then boxes to go underneath it and that will be where some of the, sto the toys are stored. So we're gonna have one for like blankets, things like that. But toys are gonna be stored under there on rotation. We'll choose different ones to come down each week um, compared to the high up boxes they can't reach in their bedrooms. And then hopefully everything will stay nice and fresh and interesting for them. And then into the kitchen, which is still looking like a building site. I thought about clearing up all this stuff and then I knew my husband who isn't actually here today. He's actually not working on the house for the first time in ages. He's doing another job of work somewhere else. So he's not here sort of plowing ahead. But I know if I touch any of this stuff, he'd be like, what have you done with my that thing? And then it's just not worth it. So I'm not gonna really blitz and clean this kitchen yet. I really feel the urge to, 
but while it's still a building site, it seems a bit silly. I have, however, had an answer on my question I asked last week. So I was talking last week about my favorite cleaners, as you know. So I knew I'd be able to use this, which is lovely. This smells like not just apples, but apple fizzy chewets, quite specifically, which is lovely. I knew I'd be able to use this, which is the uh, multi-surface cleaner, which smells amazing. It smells like some sort of body shop shower gel I had as a teenager. And then I asked, why can't I use this? Now, Method have weighed in on this. It says on their bottle not to use it. It's because this is slightly more acidic than the other products. So that is why you're not supposed to use that. So I will avoid using that on the quartz. Uh, if anyone's got any ideas of an anti-back you can use on the quartz, or is this going to anti-back it? I don't know. Or is it just polishing? Not sure. How do I sort of sanitize the surfaces? Because the other thing I use is diluted Zoflora. Can I use diluted Zoflora on quartz? I need to know before I actually try it and ruin it. Anyway, it sinks all in. Apparently, these LED thingies that weren't working last week, now bear in mind, this is gonna look a bit, this just looks a bit rubbish because the plinths aren't on yet, are they? But apparently, if you plug all this in, it works. Now I can't actually see where you're supposed to plug it in. This is gonna be Alexa up. It's gonna be like Alexa turn kitchen lights on. Um, but at the moment, I don't, I can't see where to plug that in to show you. So, sorry about that. But apparently they're working. Rumour has it they're working. Um, over to the induction hob, which I can't wait to start using. A lot of you have suggested different places I can get induction pans, so thank you for that. Um, but above here we've also got this. Now this is not a television, even though it looks like one. It is an extractor fan, which obviously still needs this bit boxing in and stuff. I don't know if it's all connected, but it's looking pretty good. I'm kind of liking it. Um, I just can't wait to start organizing all the drawers and things. Oh, I didn't know we had one of those. I thought I'd have to buy one. How exciting, we already chose one. Ooh, right, I'm gonna leave it all in plastic till, till I'm allowed to come in and clean it and put stuff in. But, oh look, lots of building rubbish. That's gonna be for pots and pans, I suppose, I don't know. I have to decide what to put where, but at the moment, there's just a lot of stuff that, um, yeah, a lot of stuff that I don't wanna get involved in. We have got these pulley outy pan things in here. I think I've already shown you these, but I'm just still quite excited by them. I'm assuming I'm gonna put pans on there. I don't know, what would you put on there? Let me know in the comments, guys. Maybe it's the induction pans I've not yet bought. And then up here, I'm gonna hide my toaster and my slow cooker. Now I have we've been bought by a very kind family member as a moving in present, even though we haven't moved in yet. Um, but I haven't had them yet, the toaster and the kettle. I haven't seen them in the flesh yet, so I can't wait to see them and bring them over here. But I guess it's not worth having them bring them over until the kitchen is a bit less like a building site. Still quite excited by this hide and slide thing though. That's cool, isn't it? Quite loving that. So, yeah, we've still obviously got to bring the fridge over and I need to fill the cupboards with all sorts of fabulous organization bits and bobs. So stay tuned for more organization videos coming as soon as I'm sort of allowed access to the kitchen. This will obviously be bumped over a little bit more so we can fit stools under there. But eventually this window is going and that is being knocked through into an extension, but that probably won't be until we've moved in. And now that won't be too messy because the whole extension can be built before we knock through and it's only the day it's knocked through that's kind of gonna be a bit of a mess. So not too worried about that. So a lot of the update stuff that's happened this week is kind of under the hood stuff. I think some weeks we see, we physically see loads of progress because you look at it and think, wow, that's different and that's different and that's different. And this week it's been a lot more kind of treating this door and finishing that. And that's harder to kind of appreciate and see the difference sort of really like, by an untrained eye. But that's the stuff that takes ages. I know my husband spent a lot of time boxing things in, which you would notice if it wasn't done because it looks right mess. But then when it's done, it just sort of looks like it's supposed to look. Uh, tomorrow we have got the Ikea delivery um, being delivered. So hopefully all of that will be around to show you and assemble um, by the next update. So if you have liked this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. If you want to catch my latest video, it's just across here. And for more renovation series, it's just down here. See you guys soon.